Hey everyone, today we're going to be driving in New York City from Queens to Manhattan. Our plan is to go over the Queensboro Bridge to the Upper East Side, East Harlem, and through Central Harlem. My dad's going to be driving me. Today's date is Thursday, October 3rd, 2024. The time is 4 o'clock p.m. Temperature is 73 Fahrenheit, 23 Celsius. We're here in Long Island City, Queens, waiting to get on the Queensboro Bridge. We're going to be entering the lower roadway there's also the upper roadway, but the upper roadway has been under construction for, I think, maybe two years now. They have this uh, upper roadway replacement deck going on. part of Queens is known as Queens Plaza right at the base of the Queensboro Bridge a little bit of traffic right now. But we are getting closer to the rush hour time frame. In about an hour, you'll see a lot more cars on the other side of this bridge going towards Queens. Looking around this, I notice three for hire vehicles. So maybe these are Uber drivers and Lyft coming into the city hoping to pick up a fare to go back. part the people who work in New York City use mass transportation it's very hard to um, drive in the city there's a lot of traffic and hard to get parking and parking rates can be quite expensive There's several garages that will charge upwards of $30 an hour.
right you can see the structure for the Roosevelt Island tram that's an island that's between Manhattan and Queens we uh, recently did a driving video of Roosevelt Island It's actually a cool little place. It's really known for its cherry blossoms. The Cornell Tech campus is there. Now our plan is to go to First Avenue. So we need to get off this exit ramp here to the right. up this um, path to First Avenue. That's better if you want to go downtown on 2nd Avenue or cross town going west. This is better for going east to First Avenue and the FDR Drive. is the shared pedestrian and biking path on the bridge. There's a lot of um, people riding over right now. First Avenue and take this all the way through the Upper East Side into East Harlem. Of us that we just passed under was the proposed congestion pricing cameras but that's been postponed indefinitely by the governor it's a very controversial plan to um, charge vehicles to go south of 59th Street in Manhattan This is all the Upper East Side. Until we get to 96th Street, then it becomes East Harlem. The Upper East Side is New York City's richest zip code. It's not Hudson Yards. Um, Hudson Yards might be it too. I know that's the most expensive real estate development. But in terms of people living there, this may be the, um, the largest, the most incomes.
I'm looking on Wikipedia. The median income in the Upper East Side is $131,000. Wikipedia is still claiming that it's been the most affluent neighborhood in New York City. compare that with East Harlem to the north and it's completely different. The median income there is $21,000. It's also known as Spanish Harlem or El Barrio which is Spanish for the neighborhood. also has the second highest concentration of public housing in the United States behind Brownsville, Brooklyn. Wow, look at this. Agata Valentina, organic and gluten-free groceries, pasta, bread, pastries. It's crazy how much more the price of organic groceries are compared to the standard groceries. Sometimes they're like two or three times the price. needs a washing in the back. You'll see a lot of buses with this design. It's called an articulated bus where they have the uh, accordion-like structure in the middle to fit in more passengers.
6th Street where we're entering East Harlem. Median income here is $100,000 less. It's crazy to think that is. September 3rd road work near 109th Street. Hey, there's White Castle. 10 cheeseburgers for $8.99. to our right is public housing. Actually, let's make a right turn on 116th Street because there's a Costco here that I didn't even know about. I know uh, Target was here, but they had to close their store. I don't think it was profitable. Chop cheese delicious. It's busy. Yeah, it looks busy in there. They may have been the creators of the chop cheese sandwich. actually make a right on 114th also.
nice little park here. Yeah, it's nice here. Thomas Jefferson State Park. There's a swimming pool there too. city bike rider going the opposite way. Over to our right is the parking garage for Costco. All those people are rushing to get into Costco. Is this new Costco? I think so. This is the East River Plaza shopping mall. It's a dead end street here. Let's go left here. We can get back to First Avenue. and five cents a gallon here at BP. Avenue Bridge to the Bronx. Is there another, another bridge called the Third Avenue Bridge too? Right yeah, now? there's multiple bridges that connect uh, Manhattan to the Bronx here. There's Willis Avenue Bridge, which is right here, Third Avenue Bridge, the Madison Avenue Bridge. There's also the uh, Maycombs Dam Bridge, which connects Manhattan to Yankee Stadium. Among many others. I don't know, this summer I went over the Third Avenue uh, 
bridge with my bike, and then the other side in the Bronx, it was it was a dead end. Oh and, yeah. Yeah, I had to turn around. Well, that's weird. It was a bunch of buildings and alleyways, and just I couldn't get out of there. Maybe you went over the Randall's Island. No. Area. It was in the it was in Buckner, oh. Buckner Boulevard over the the Third uh, Avenue Bridge. Hmm. I don't know where you went there. There's a lot of construction there. I was just, I, know, I just got lost. Yeah, I well. Turned around and came back. Yeah, well, there's a lot of construction happening in the South Bronx. There's a brand new uh, building that went up in Harlem. And if you make it right here on Third Avenue, there is no Third Avenue bridge that goes over this down there someplace. Yeah, you can't get on the Third Avenue Bridge from here. Right, you see? It's, you know, it's weird. Yeah, that day that I was riding my bike, and there was a couple of police officers. I asked them how to get get over the bridge. They didn't know. It's very confusing. It's a lot of little detours, right, to, to, yeah. to get there. Actually, I think it's only southbound. I'm looking at it. You see, that's why when I got there, I couldn't go anyplace. It's a big mess there. Yeah. This is all part of central Harlem. You may know it from the Harlem Renaissance. This is where jazz was invented. There was a giant supermarket here on the left of us. Yeah. I don't know what's going to be built there now. Over here is one of the worst intersections in the city. Lexington Avenue and 125th Street. I'm actually uh, kind of nervous when I use this subway station and I go to the street level. Oftentimes you'll see people addicted to drugs and look like they're completely out of it. Known there are a few stabbings over here too. Not exactly the best area. There is a good police presence though outside the station, so hopefully that deters some crime. Up here is the Metro North Station, Harlem 125th Street. Yeah, but a lot of the crimes that are committed are by emotion, unstable people, people on drugs, people who are drunk, you know, those are people hard to predict, you know? Yeah, it's sad. Look at this person just crossing against the light. Fifth Avenue. The same Fifth Avenue that runs through Midtown and runs along Central Park. Soon we'll be in the uh, busiest part of Harlem where all the shopping is. 
So to the left, you have a burgers and shakes place. And you know that place has been here for a long time. And then Shake Shack comes in on the opposite corner. Yep. So I wonder how much of the business they, they took away from this little place. You know? The Shake Shack, the reviews on Shake Shack is pretty good, right? Yeah. They're, they're expensive, the fast right? chain. Are yeah, kind of pricey? they are kind of pricey, but a lot of fast food places are pricey now. Look at this, all these double park cars. The buses are forced to go into the middle lane here. Flanagan. Whole Foods? Yeah, Whole Foods Market. Wow, this is a big shopping mall, right? Huh? Yeah, I told you. Look at the street signs here. There's two different names for all these streets. 125th Street is also known as Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Boulevard. And then here's Lennox Avenue and Malcolm X Boulevard. <laughs> it's, it's an avenue and a boulevard at the same time. It's renamed here, these streets. This is actually 6th Avenue. driving in New York, especially Manhattan. To the right is the state office building. I can even show you now that we're stopped. State office building. Next block is the Apollo Theater. Does that say Action Kid Square? What, where? In the corner there. No, it says African Square. <laughs> <laughs> it has a nice ring to it. <laughs> Action Kid Square. Hey, maybe someday. <laughs> that would be Action cool to Kid, have. Action a, Kid Boulevard, you know. Have a street named after yeah, me. Yeah. It looks like they renovated the exterior of the Apollo Theater. You know, I've had a couple of customers that have their names put up on, on the streets. Oh, a they did? Them. Yeah, because they contribute a lot to, uh, to certain areas. You know, like Astoria, there's, there's uh, my customers are uh, Reinhardt's. And then there's been a couple of sanitation guys that were like, probably were in accidents and they named the, the streets after them. Mm -hmm. And there were a couple of fire, firemen that were killed in fire, uh, fighting fires that had their names, uh, the streets named after their names. Busy area. Ooh. Oh, it's, it's very busy. 
there's a lot of new buildings here too and residences after the next block pretty much all the shopping is uh, finished these big box stores folks i think that'll do it for the video really hope you enjoyed it if you did hit the like button subscribe and i'll see you next time bye everyone take care